What's up, what's up guys? All right, I am super bright right now. Um, so we are at this super sketchy, like, um, like uh, car wash. Sorry, I cannot talk right now. I'm running on a little bitty, tiny bit of sleep. But yeah, so we're at this car wash. Let's see if I can get it behind me. There you go. Let it focus in. Yeah, so we're at this car wash. And I'm here with uh, my buddy Hayden. Um, empty bay um, this is basically the only one that's open so I'm gonna have to help him be right back oh man so yeah Hayden just freaked out about that one um, so I had to go help him because uh, he was trying to wash his wheels and the timer had already started on the uh, on the car so uh, yeah I had to help him real quick but yes we're at this gas station just checking back up with the Jag I'll give you a walk around real quick um, let you know what's on it. Let you see Hayden. Everybody loves Hayden. Dang. So dirty. So dirty. It's so dirty. It's, it's about as dirty as my Jeep, which is really sad because I wash that like twice a year. So yeah, look at him. Getting in the grind. Getting in it. Uh -huh. Oh God. Oh God. Wheels look good though. Wheels look really good. So. Yeah, I gotta put more coins in yeah. it. This thing is getting too dirty to wash anything. Alright. So we're gonna put some more coins in it. Get back at it. Right the back, so. Peace. Alright guys. Um, this is basically phase two. The whole car has been, the body's been washed. Um, soaked up. Rinsed off. Um, looks much better. I don't know if it's gonna show up because of this lighting. But this quarter panel looks tons better. The uh, whole car actually looks tons better. Door handles down were uh, super grimy and everything but uh, you can see little Hayden going to work yep um, and I am super dark uh, so yeah um, right now he's doing the wheels and tires we use um, he uses a little bit of that rag right there and uh, what it does is what we do is we get a little bit of Meguiar's wheel and tire cleaner spray it on there a lot of it a lot of it will wash off or all of it will wash off eventually but a lot of it will fall off um, but what you can do is you, you go through, spray everything, let it sit for about 30 seconds to a minute, and you can actually see the brown come around. I'm gonna have to get these out of my pocket. My hands <laughs> are right. so covered in junk. So yeah, just go through, wash everything, you're good to go. So yeah, uh, he's back here. You can see him washing that down, getting it nice and clean. But yeah. So yeah. Uh, just a quick tip, here's what we use, it is the Meguiar's wheel and tire cleaner, it's good stuff, um, it does great work, you just spray it on real quick, let it sit for about 30 seconds like I was saying, um, you can actually see it pull the, pull the grime and stuff off of the wheel and tire, and it, I mean, it does great stuff, super happy with it, I love that stuff, um, it's about 6 bucks at Walmart, it's a good buy, uh, and so yeah, for mine, yeah. Okay, so for mine, um, sorry about that. For my tires, it takes about, um, I'd say, half of a bottle to do all four. Um, it does take a lot. Um, I feel like you could dilute it, but I haven't tried that yet, so don't don't quote me on it or anything. Um, but <laughs> he's really struggling with the car wash. Um, but yeah, it's really easy to do. Um, just spray it on. Wash it off, call it done. Be back when we get to the interior. Back, still with Hayden, obviously. Takes forever to wash his own car. This is a fast shit freaking car wash. Shut the hell up. He's not happy, he's taking forever. Um, but we're start gonna start the interior of this beautiful Jag. Um, so, I'll uh, pick it back up once he finally, again, taking forever, gets everything out of his truck. Not taking fucking forever. Six days later, we're still getting stuff it's out been of his like truck. Maybe 30 minutes. All right, guys, uh, back here, still washing Hayden's car. It's still taking forever. He finally got everything out of the back of it, into the trunk. So uh, we're starting the interior. Just give you guys a scoop what the interior looks like. That's what it looks like when you're driving. Golly, that thing looks good. You know, you got full leather seats, obviously. Wood grain on the inside. This thing is a beauty. So yeah, he's in here. 
pro detailer getting at it. Um, we uh, vacuumed everything. We are now um, conditioning the interior and um, doing uh, leather cleaner and stuff like that on it. Um, getting everything open, getting it all working. Um, yeah, this thing is looking good. I got a little bit of the steering wheel. Yeah, I helped. I know, crazy. But yeah, um, so we're just doing the interior, getting everything looking good. Uh, conditioned the seats with um, this is a kind of an off brand but it's uh, auto drive leather wipes Let's see if I can get it yeah there you go yep so they're just basically just armor all wipes just uh, off brand they seem to do a good job um, taking the, the uh, just the conditioning and everything getting into there and they take a little bit of the dust off and stuff off the top layer Sounds so good. Look at that. Beauty. Looks so good. Sounds so good. So I guess we'll just do a quick walk around real quick. Give you that right now. All right, so I think I got all the names on everything. So these wheels, beautiful wheels. Um, they are, I believe, Ace Engineering. Yeah, Ace Engineering Design made these wheels. Great wheels. Uh, they're not forged or anything, they're just cast, I'm, I'm thinking. Um, they came on the car. They came on the car, right? The wheels? No. Oh, you bought the wheels? Okay. The so, yeah. totally stopped. Okay. And it's got uh, lowering springs of, we don't know which company? No. Okay, so, Plast probably Eibach. Front, um, front grille has been uh, Plasti dipped. It's got um, bi-xenon projector headlights that are stock. Um, hopefully one day we, we can do a how-to on how to take those apart, do them white. Hint, hint, Hayden. I would love to. Um, but yeah, um, the front is, or they are uh, 20s all around. I believe the front is an eight and a half, or a negative eight and a half offset, the, or a positive eight and a half offset. The back, I believe, is a 12. Um, but yeah, um, that's about it. We did a um, muffler delete on the back end, which is what you heard. And uh, I'll put a sound clip in. I didn't do shit. Neither do. Okay, Just we didn't do we didn't do anything, but we watched a guy do a muffler delete, and it sounds so good. Um, I, you know, it's just a 5.0 that's been supercharged. You know, just a 5.0 that's been supercharged. But um, and so she's probably got about, I'd say 450 to the wheels. So. 435. Nice startup. 435 to the wheels. So with muffler delete. Probably about 440, you know, just a little bit of flow in the back, not a lot. But uh, yeah, so there's a walk out of the Jag, nice and clean, sits really pretty. Um, I'll try to see if I can get you down here for a sound clip real quick. Sounds nice. It's got a little bit of a rasp on the way down and you're getting on it, but. Uh, a lot of that is the positive energy from the uh, supercharger always pushing air through. And so a lot of people don't know that, that about the supercharger is that it's always going to be pushing positive air through um, at about 1200 RPM is when it starts doing that. And so basically anytime you're getting on it hard, um, it's, it's going to be pushing air through and so that's going to cause it to backfire and stuff a lot. A lot of people freak out, they're like, oh no, it's backfiring, oh gosh, the world's going to end. It's like, no, it's just, it's just the motor running through its paces. So. Um, quick tip for all you supercharger owners out there. Um, but yeah, got it all clean. Got you walk around. Still here at this super sketchy uh, little car wash. Um, so I think we're going to head home for the night. Damn, son. Yeah, so yeah, she's loud. Alright, see you guys later. Peace.